nice to see you too. So tell me about what's going on. What is, how's the line going right now? It's going really well. We just got into Barney's and Anthropology. Congratulations. And we're looking at some European accounts right now. We've gotten great press. So it's really great. That's awesome. What is unique about Jenna Lee that is different from other intimate brands, you would say? Well, Jenna Lee really is the only American fashion-forward lingerie line at its price point. We pay really close attention to the quality, the fabrics, staying with current trends, bringing in some retro style. So it's, it's very unique and it fits my personality. I think it fits a youthful woman everyday personality and it's not too racy but it's sexy and feminine at the same time. Right and I've seen a lot of your pieces and they're amazing and you're, you're so talented and you know I realize there's just some pieces you can wear out. I mean would you suggest to wear out you know some of your tops with jeans and a blazer because you know it's very feminine and at the same time it's still sexy would you right. suggest that or it's only just you know lingerie? No lingerie definitely. Um, I make all different kinds of pieces in each collection. So some are strictly you wear in the bedroom, right. some are for Valentine's Day and wedding nights, and then others you can wear with a blazer, with a low cut tank, show your sides, and you can just wear them for a variety of purposes. That's awesome. The, the, the brand appeals to a young, trendy woman. How does lingerie fit into their wardrobe? For a young, trendy girl? Well, like I said, it's very fashion forward, so I stay with the current trends. If it's neon, I'll make a neon bra. If it's big eyelet lace, I want to incorporate that. I look at the color boards for future seasons, even three three seasons in advance. Wow, that's so, that far in advance? Yeah, it's really far in advance, so I'm able to you know gain the new trends coming out and bring them into my lingerie design. What's your style? My style, well, I love Slim Aarons, um, the photographer. Yeah, I'm my wall, actually. Mm -hmm. And he photographed the fabulous life, and it talks a little bit about that on my website. I just love things that are a little bit vintage, but have some of the current trends going on. So if I'm able to mix the two, then I think I did a good job with that piece. What designer is most influential to you? What inspires you? I love Diane von Furstenberg. Love her. I, agree. I love that she, I've read a lot about her. She's inspired by photography, as am I. Um, she's very into color and travel, and that's really like my whole philosophy. Um, she doesn't make lingerie right now, so I think that if she were to have a lingerie line, it might even be a little similar to mine, I'm not sure, but she really inspires me, and I love what she's done with her business, and she's built it to such a great level. Yeah, she suggested them in terms of, you know, how many pieces, and like, you know, what, how much they should spend on lingerie in general, if it's, you know, they're going to a store, like, do you think that price point matters, do you think there's a price on how much lingerie you buy or? Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go crazy. I think it's nice to have a few really good pieces. Right. And I don't think anyone should go beyond their means for lingerie, and that fits really nicely with my price point. It's definitely a high-end brand, so I'm not saying every girl could afford to have a ton of my lingerie. Right. However, it's not super high-end like La Perla. Exactly. And it is definitely you know two steps higher than Victoria's Secret. So it's a really cool price point, and that's part of my motivation to keep it at that price point, choose fabrics, and you know, design aesthetic that fit within that range. For all you beautiful people out there, I'm going to get an exclusive from Jenna Lee about what her staple pieces are and her favorite colors are in her collection. Watch. So Jenna, why don't you show us what your favorite pieces are sure. and what every girl should have in their closet. Um, I use an organic milk cotton on a lot of my fabrics, and you can feel it is super soft. Oh my god. I mean, this could even be used as outerwear. This is what I'm talking about. Right. This is amazing. We have basics. This is running next season in black. This and is this amazing. is just the best fit ever. It retails for $77. It's amazing. Over here, we have some new looks at fall, little tap shorts, things oh, to wear around the, the house. That's I mean, cute. you could even wear them on the beach. Some just great basics that are a little bit sexy, have some detail to the straps. And rompers, as I told you, were huge bandeau tops to show under a tank top. This is coming in green, the ship's next this month. So soft. So soft, yeah, because I'm really, you know, trying to show the oh, American girl cute. they can be comfortable but still be sexy. So this is just a little sneak peek. We have lots more racks. You can see some coming out on the website soon. Right, that's awesome. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching Talk with Coco on Junebug.com. For more information, please visit www.jennaleelingerie.com. You can catch her fall collection at Barney's, Journal, and Anthropology.